So now the uh, time has come for me to relinquish the board presidency. I'm going to fade over into Deirdre's chair for the remainder of my term, and I go from this chair in peace, and we are adjourned. Why is Mr. Locker sitting up where he's sitting? The tradition of this school district is that when the board president leaves office, they move down to this seat. I've watched it for years. Why is he sitting over there? I guess he's too special to move. Or maybe he can sit there, having been disgraced as the board president, and coach Miss Merchant over the next year. Or maybe I'm violating the policy on personal tax, but you haven't passed this resolution, so let me make a few while I'm here. Mr. Lacker shouldn't be on the board. Mr. Lacker misappropriated $13,000 in public funds for personal use. He should be referred to the district attorney's office for a grand jury to indict him. He shouldn't be sitting on the board. He certainly shouldn't be having some kind of honor sitting close to the board president. And I just want to add that I appreciate you, Mr. Cox, bringing up about Locker. I already did that with Liz when I walked into the room and saw the sitting. And you're right, the past practice has been uh, um, the past the ex president sits here. So I've already addressed that with Liz, and it should be resolved by this meeting. That is true. We progress considerably, especially in the area of communication. Live broadcasts of meetings. Moving in the direction of paperless board meetings, although tonight I don't know. <laughs> and certainly the increased ability of the public to follow us live. Interestingly, there is also more discussion at our meetings, so the public can follow how decisions are being made. I know from very good sources and my own experience, you are going to enjoy taking a new seat and relaxing just a little bit just a little bit more. However, your participation, as always, I know will be right in there with all of us. Again, Chris Ann, thanks so much for your hard work. Thank you. Okay. I call your um, uh, if I may uh, uh, take a moment also to uh, congratulate my friend and colleague, Chris Ann, uh, on the successful completion of your service. How do we know that it's a successful completion? Because you're still here another day uh, to, to take that uh, cherished seat back at the end of the seat. That's a very low bar. <laughs> nobody calls, nobody writes, you know, nobody wants to talk to you anymore. Um, but uh, after two years uh, of uh, serving in the position and serving with distinction as you have and with the pressures uh, that you certainly experienced, um, it is a welcome relief to go back down to the cheap seats and uh, have a little, uh, little privacy down at that end, you know, and uh, and just uh, to be able to participate as uh, as a board member uh, the way you came in, and um, uh, for all of us who had the uh, opportunity, the privilege to work with you, um, we went through a lot of stuff together, and um, uh, as Deirdre said, we have uh, achieved a lot. We tried to move the district forward in uh, many ways. Uh, certainly we have not achieved all that we had hoped to do. I know that you were frustrated uh, lots of times with certain initiatives that you had, certain ideas, certain things that you wanted to do uh, that you were not able to do in the time that you had planned to do them. However, um, it's a new season and the agendas keep rolling along. Uh, some of which I think are items that you deferred uh, to to uh, the new board and the new administration. So uh, your legacy and agenda setting uh, at least will live a few months longer. Um, but anyway, I just uh, I do want to thank you um, for uh, serving faithfully, diligently uh, under very very difficult circumstances, and uh, uh, I look forward to working with you in the coming year. And like I said, like I said at our last meeting, thanking my colleagues once again for their support um, during the past two years. You know, it's it's been.
been a, a fun, interesting ride, is what I can say. I look forward to passing the baton um, and becoming a board member. I'm definitely not going anywhere for the next four years and will continue my dedication and service to the board and the children of our district and the community as well. Um, and, you know, being part of what we do, and that's the business of children. And I look forward to whatever changes and challenges we have ahead. I'm just happy to not be in the big seat. <laughs> but I'm still part of the, the big team. So I look forward to it. And thank you for everyone for your support. It's been an honor and privilege ser serving as president. But I'm very happy to be relinquishing that seat and handing it over to someone else. So thank you.